Hey everybody, Sifallen here. We're gonna go over how to do deck building in Vassal for Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born. So there's two ways you can open this initially. Uh, you can load the module right away, which skips a few steps. I'll show you guys uh, if you just open Vassal itself and you have the module installed, which the module is linked on my Discord channel uh, for Ashes Online. Uh, you just hit here. You can either double click, hit enter, uh, right click and run whatever works. Uh, if you're looking for an online game, this will be PvP, which we'll go over in a later video. Right now we're just doing deck building, so I'll start offline. And it doesn't matter what you do here, we'll go player one. And so here we have the, the game cards for the whole game. Um, this is, so we have the main set here, which is from everything from the original box. Um, so these are the original heroes, and all these down here are going to be the original dice. Um, yeah, everything that came in the box. Uh, we have the promos, which are the couple of exclusive heroes. And I don't know. Aside from them, it doesn't look like there's anything. Yeah, just their unique cards. Um, and then there's the expansions. Uh, might know the name of all the expansions. Uh, I click through and look for the faces of the people I know because I don't know all the names of the expansions. So this has every single card and each expansion has their set of cards. So their deck. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to use uh, Koji here as the example. So here we have the deck builder. Uh, there is a D20 for if you ever need to do some kind of roll to I don't know, make a decision or something. There are rules about this in the actual uh, Ashes rule book, so technically you shouldn't need it, but it's there. This is the different phase indicators, and as you hit them, um, it shows up on a chat. So this this will go on throughout the entire game. This just lets you helps you keep track of what's going on. Uh, standard mats. Oh, this is just to look at the battlefield and stuff. Uh, and then you have your hand. So we're going to go into Deck Builder here. And this is the Phoenix Born symbol. And we're going to grab... I don't actually know what he needs for dice. But we're just going to throw all this stuff in here and see what happens. Alright, so Lick Wounds. You're going to want three of these. snap nicer. There we go. A couple different snap points for these. Uh, I personally prefer to stack them directly on top of each other just so I can see that there are three there. Um, totally up to you. You can stagger them a little bit. There are multiple snap points, like I said. Um, if you're looking to stack them, it's easiest to stack them back to front, otherwise they end up uh, overlapping each other and you can't read well, so. Just hang on with me here for a minute while I grab all of his cards. Take this. Now there are rows of five here. So all together, if you're stacking these three tall, you got all of your 30 cards that you can view here. Um, you can also pull cards off to the side. They don't need to be in these spots. Um, you can make this window as big as you want to give yourself the extra room to view cards. If you're actually looking to debate between cards and build a deck on your own. I love the Sleeping Bear. This is one of my favorite cards. Alright, so what are we missing? Ready spells? Ready spells.
So if you chose, um, you don't actually have to put them out to look at them. You can just drag them directly into the deck if you wanted. It's just easier to uh, keep track of them all if you have them out showing. So uh, I found out if you select a bunch like this and try to drag it over, it, it'll only put the ones in that were directly over the deck. So I grabbed them in uh, a column like this here and try my best to get them in there. best bet is generally grabbing three at a time. So this is my deck now. So if you want to save this deck so you can load it later when you go to play games, just hit here and save and I'll call this the Koji deck. Save. Now we have conjurations. So a cool thing with conjurations, if you didn't know, this little number in the left corner here this is actually how many of these you're allowed to have on the battlefield. So if you're thinking, how many of these do I need in my conjuration pile? That would be the number you want to look for. Oops. So just to make sure I actually get the proper number and I don't lose count here because I am chatting away. Creepers. And luminous seedling. I believe some of the alt or arts are also in here. Um, I want to look into getting the actual source file for this and maybe adding in more things. But that's that's a project for me, not you. Or, you know, maybe you. Maybe you're interested in that kind of thing. In which case, please post. Please, please post. So we're looking at music dice for sure. Music leaves. I don't know his basic dice set, so let's just go half and half. Um, so the music originally came out with the meme. So I'm going to take the reference card here. I'm just going to throw this off to the side. Uh, don't actually need it on the deck builder, but I, I like having it here. So we can have 10 dice all together, so I'm going to pull out 5. And back to the main set for my nature dice. I'm also going to pull this aside. It's not a bad idea to uh, give yourself more reference cards if you're not as familiar with the game. Um, lets you see what your opponent's options are as well. So here's the dice we got. Uh, we have everything built. I'm going to save my conjuration pile. I'm going to save this as Koji Conj for conjuration. And you can't actually save your dice, so you are going to have to remember your dice or write it down, build it every time, Don't really, doesn't really matter. But I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I like to use. So when you're actually playing a game, uh, you can pull your, pull your deck into your place. So we're going to grab multiple here. Uh, real quick, let me show you guys. You can draw specific cards, and this shows you by, by name everything that is in your deck. Uh, and you can grab just an individual indigo creeper if you want. But we're going to grab all of them. So we're going to grab multiple cards here. And there's 30 in a deck. So I'm going to type 30. And then we drag. And we got 30 there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Don't know how many are in there. Definitely less than 30. So we're just going to grab 30. 19 it is. Alright, so this is the basic setup for that. The dice. Let me... Uh, Minimize this deck builder a little bit here. I'm gonna grab the dice here. This is our active pool, so we're gonna throw them in there. Uh, these are my two cards. There's there's room for the other ones as well. Um, I don't know what I would want my starting hand to be, but I can pull out my hand here. Let's just 
try. Of course, I can't grab multiple now. Um, let's do this. Let's shuffle these guys. We're going to get five different cards, and that's what my hand's going to be. Okay, that works. Five different cards. So, close that guy. That's now my hand. So I can go file and save game. And I'm going to call this my Koji deck save. So this is going to save everything that's on the board as it is. Um, so you can save this here and type in comments if you want. So now when I go into a PvP match, I can actually load game and all of this stuff will load in as is on my board. So I don't have to uh, individually load my decks. Now if I didn't do that and these things weren't in here, so let's just uh, get rid of all these guys. We're just going to reopen because I don't know how to do that. Can I? I want to load an empty one. Nope. Okay. We're just going to close. Do not save. And we're going to reopen here. So I'm going to show you guys how to load if you choose to uh, just have save files of your stuff. So we can go into, we're just going to do an offline game for now. But again, we'll go over PvP later. So we have, if you right click here, or not, what the hell? So I guess you do have to go into your deck builder and load stuff in here so I don't I guess this is the only way to do it so we'll just go this is Koji deck so this is gonna load all 30 cards of Koji's deck in here Ta-da! and load Koji's conjuration there's definitely uh, better systems that this this thing could come up with but uh, it's a work in progress and for free software, it's pretty darn, darn good. Uh, so we'd have to remember our dice and pull those out individually, as I said. Um, so your dice are in here. So this is how you would do it manually. And you'd have to go and grab your hero and throw it in here. So yeah, that is both ways on how to load your battlefield and stuff. Personally, I highly recommend saving your saving a game so you have all of your stuff just out here and use your deck builder as a tool to be able to view cards and those kind of things. If you wanted to just skip the deck builder altogether and throw things right in here, you could. It just doesn't give you that uh, emergency backup save file if uh, you don't remember or uh, accidentally lose your file or, you know, some other wild stuff happens so thanks for watching guys um i'm gonna have a pvp episode coming out as soon as possible i'm actually gonna get my girlfriend to help me out with that so i will see you guys next time thanks for watching